Righto guys, in this video we're going to take a brief look at how to peen a rivet in leatherwork. Rivets are actually really, really, really common in so much of leatherwork today and it's actually really important that we just understand a few fundamentals just so we get it right. It can be so frustrating when we get it wrong. I know I've been there myself and so have most of us. Uh, all of the leather crafters out there all started at the beginning too on how to peen a rivet correctly. That's coming up. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Really the last thing on our belt is the, the rivet. I think the main tip is to do one rivet at a time and just to figure out how you want it to look, try and use rivets that are pretty soft and don't use rivets that are longer than necessary. So really you're trying to aim just to secure that uh, the rivet into the leather. You don't need it to be crazy long or anything like that. You just need it to do the job it needs to do. Uh, and so uh, you can just trim them to suit. All right, so just trim off your excess. Now you want everything else to be as tight as possible and not move. This is basically where everyone goes wrong, including myself. Um, and, and I stress I'm not an expert in this, but um, if you can pretty much prevent any movement, you're going to prevent much going wrong because that's where the little um, bits of brass will snap off your buckle and then you've wasted Oh, um, your money or you're going to have to find a way to attach new hardware to your buckle in order to use it. Alrighty, and that is basically how to peen a rivet. You want, this is the finish that you're looking for, the washers or the the rings need to be nicely secured in place. You don't want too much excess on the rivet, which is going to cause the um, the the breakages and that kind of stuff. You just want enough just to get you uh, a nice secure purchase on that washer. There we go, guys. I really hope that uh, that helps. Any other questions? Please leave a comment below. I'll try and get to you as soon as I can. Alrighty, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you in my next video. Now the only other thing to think about really is going to be holes in the belt for where you want your buckle to go. So for me, uh, I have measured the belt. And I'm just going to drop a couple of holes in. Nice simple project can save you a fortune and it is the kind of fundamentals or the foundation for a really good uh, historical impression. There we go guys, um, thank you. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.